Influenza is one of those perfectly infectious viruses. It's transmitted in micro droplets and aerosolized when we sneeze and cough. It gets on our hands and we touch things and it can live a little bit longer in the environment than many viruses can. You go in a subway, somebody sneezes on you, somebody blows their nose, they shake your hand. So from the standpoint of spread, it's of great concern. Some people who get infected can wind up getting serious complications, such as viral pneumonia. And then what happens when you get very ill, you get multi-system failure. Year in and year out, influenza kills tens of thousands of people in the United States alone. It infects millions upon millions of people. It shoots around the planet with new strains coming up all the time. Flu can come from anywhere that humans are in daily direct contact with animal populations. And every nation on Earth has animal farms, poultry farms, swine farms. We are lucky on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the potential for flu to turn into something more deadly is always there. But here's the thing with influenza that is particularly concerning. These wild waterfowl viruses have the ability to jump out of their wild bird reservoirs and get into other unrelated hosts. So some of them are predominantly in poultry. Some of those are also in other animals like pigs. We have swine flu, we have some of them in horses, we have equine flu, there's some, they can be in dogs, you can have canine flu and so on. And it's this ability of viruses to move around and stably adapt to different hosts that gives influenza its greatest sort of biological advantage but makes it the most difficult to control. They're jumping from one species to the next and there's a lot happening. They're mutating, they're recombining, they're exchanging their little genetic segments and they create brand new influenza viruses never seen before. It's in that process of birds to other animal species to humans and then humans to humans that flu has become such a dangerous virus to humans. That's what makes, in part, influenza the king of infectious diseases. Highly efficient at transmission and highly efficient as a killer. You put those two together, that's the ultimate fire and gas combination. When you have factory farming, you could have millions of chickens or millions of ducks all in very close, confined areas. Flu likes crowds. Flu likes close contact. So a virus getting into a massive poultry farm is fantastic for that virus. What you don't want to happen, and it hasn't happened yet with those bird flus, is that it jumps species and then it adapts itself to rapidly and readily and efficiently spread from human to human. But there's no reason to believe that a virus like that won't figure out a way, evolutionarily, to infect us really easily. And then a lot, a lot, a lot of people are gonna die unless we do something.